Hi, my name is Daniela and we're here in Vancouver at the UBC campus about to ask people to try dairy-free vegan cheese samples and see how they like it. We're also going to ask them questions what they know about the dairy industry, what they think about dairy, is it healthy, is it not, why do we eat dairy, and many more questions. Have you ever had plant-based vegan cheese before? I don't think so. Nope. I have not. Never. Have you ever had dairy-free vegan cheese before? No. It tastes better than I expected. When I think of vegan products, it's usually quite tasteless or quite plain. But yep. this one is kind of like normal cheese, so I would say it's pretty good. What's your first thoughts? It's less salty mm -hmm. than the cheese. I couldn't really tell that it was vegan. <laughs> first thoughts? Tastes like regular cheese. It just tastes like regular cheese, just like creamier. Right, so if I gave you this without you knowing and said, could you try this new cheese brand, would you have not even thought about it? I was like, oh, this is just really good cheese. Why do you think we eat dairy? I think it's a habit. And maybe it's just your upbringing. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, I think milk is really uh, easily accessible. And I think we have certain nutritional value from having cheese or dairy products in life. Because they taste good? Calcium. And why calcium? Um, strong bones and stuff. Well, we, we're taught that calcium is good for your bones yeah. and like... And stuff. dairy contains calcium and so the reasoning goes you should have dairy in your food to have a balanced diet mm. or something like that. Calcium? Calcium. Yeah. Plants. What kind of plants come to mind? I can't really think of any, like like broccoli. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Or eggs. I don't know. That. So here is a whole list of calcium oh. in plants. So broccoli, pumpkin seeds, seeds, nuts, sesame seeds, Brussels sprouts. Like three non-animal products that are high in calcium. I don't know for sure, but I can name random. So like, uh, are fruits high in calcium? Like I'm not really sure. Can you name three? Beans? Do beans have calcium? Uh, oh, I hope so. Oh, oh like other plants. plants. What? Oh. I don't know yeah. the nutritional benefit of much. Growing up you're told just like milk and yogurt and like yes. cheese and stuff. You never think like almonds and like avocados just like everyone's really into nowadays. Milk builds strong bones. Do you, do you agree with that? I guess so. I have no reason to disagree with that. <laughs> Do you know about the study that the, uh, the studies that were made that actually the countries with the highest dairy intakes have the highest osteoporosis? I don't know what osteoporosis is. That is brittle bones. Oh really? Yeah. I did not know that. And that's why they recommend to drink lots of dairy? Yeah, especially when we get older, right? So have you heard of the studies where they studied nurses in, at Harvard University for over 12 years and they found out that those nurses with the highest intake of dairy actually have the highest fractures. I didn't know that. I and haven't heard of it before. Right. And also the countries with the highest intake of dairy also have the highest osteoporosis. Okay. Well, that, that was kind of surprising because I think what we usually know or what we learn from like ads or from schools is that we need to consume a certain amount of cheese or dairy products yeah. every day yeah. to prevent some diseases. Countries with the highest intake of dairy actually have, have the highest osteoporosis, brittle bones. That is concerning. Do you know any reason why dairy could be bad for the environment? Bad for the environment? Do you know the term greenhouse gas? Yeah. Uh, what do you think links greenhouse gas to dairy? Um, cow farts. They emit, what is it, methane? Yes. Methane? Yes, yeah. Exactly. A kind of greenhouse gas. And how do they em emit it? I don't know. Burping and farting. Oh, is it? Is it from farting? Okay. <laughs> I, I know cow emits that, but I didn't know it was from farting. It's the burping and farting. Oh. I know the oh, okay. impacts of like cows and methane and cutting down forests yeah. and stuff, but I don't know much about just dairy in itself. What if I tell you burps and farts? Burp. Ever heard That's of... Interesting. <laughs> That's interesting, yeah. Ever heard of greenhouse gas? Yes. So that's the main issue, is that actually animal agriculture combined is worse than all trains, planes and cars combined. Wow. Why do cows produce milk? Um, to feed their like calves. Exactly. But where are the calves? 
it's, I don't know, it's a good question. <laughs> what happens to the male calves in dairy operation? No. That question never occurred to me. Yeah. So no. <laughs> if she has a male calf, what happens to the male calf? I don't know. Do you know what happens to the calves? No. So I'm going to show you a picture and let me know what you think. Wow. What's the first thought? It looks like like the, the graveyard. Yeah. Are those one. like little pens to keep the calves in? Exactly. So they're actually, once the calf is born, in the first few hours or even first day, they're taken away from their moms. No, that's such a shame. This is an image of where the calves go. Damn. This just reminds me of like graveyards. Right? <laughs> Tombstones. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why does a cow make milk? Why does a cow make milk? Why? <laughs> I don't. Do you know why a human female makes milk? To feed their babies. So do you oh, think yeah, there's... Okay, yeah. Do you know how the dairies get, how the dairy cows get pregnant? I'd assume it's something uh, similarly unpleasant and unnatural. Do you know how most of the cows are impregnated? No. The top one here. So they're artificially inseminated, which means the farmer has to do that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Do you know how they're impregnated most of the times? I, I do not. <laughs> Very difficult question. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, it's a farmer that has to do this. Top one. Ooh, that is, that's not pretty. <laughs> what is your choice? Does it affect your choice when you now go and buy something? Yeah, now I'm actually going to be like, well, I should look for like vegan cheese and stuff. As, as now I'm more aware of it, I'll look for it more because this is actually a pretty good replacement. I mean, I'm already vegetarian. Okay, great. Because... Uh, ethics I guess. Did you know that the aspect of vegetarianism like dairy had the aspects of killing animals or did you th think until now the animals had a long healthy life and then they would die a natural death? I suppose I hadn't thought of that. Have you ever heard of farm subsidies? Yes. So our animal products are actually the most subsidized from our tax oh. dollars. Oh. And if you, we had to calculate on top of each cheese or a product, the health costs and the environmental costs, they would be way more expensive. Yeah, it, it doesn't really taste like vegan cheese because right. yeah, we always have we always have that idea or concept that like vegan food is less tasty. Yeah. But then it's not. It's, it's not really. It's just like normal cheese to me. Exactly. You can take this, use vegan mayonnaise, use a vegan uh, bologna and put it in a sandwich and you won't even know. This is like my first time having vegan food in my life. Awesome. That is awesome. great. Wow. Vegan cheese. I was kind of doubtful when I first started, but yeah. then when I just had a few bites, it's not much difference. It's yeah. the same. Would you now go into a store and search out for a dairy alternative? Yeah, I think I would. I think this is a step in the right direction so we can stop animal abuse and just unnecessary slaughtering in general.